a lot of them are YouTube friends. So by now you're probably gonna guess we have another Star Wars figure. You know I haven't been wearing this t-shirt for the last month and a half. Um, if you've seen any marks now, it's because I've been having a play fight with uh, Puppy a while back to try and knock him out so I could come and do this video. And right now he's behind this chair just resting. So thankfully it's worked. Hopefully it'll keep him calm for a bit of time so that I can get this video done. So anyway guys, what we've got for you is this one here. now got a proper stormtrooper this one the MMS 514 let's get this open and see how it looks the first off and we have the shoe style box again I love what they're doing with these new ones with putting these things on the front of them I think that is pretty damn cool Normal style box for the thingies, yeah, but I do like these new bits that they're putting on them. I think that's a damn good touch, but you know, and on the top of it, Star Wars. So, I think you see the Star Wars ones is pretty much nothing different to them as normal. The back looks like that. The great inlay again, I think that's another great touch. I love seeing these inlays, I think they do a damn good job of that. You know, you could use that as a backdrop if you wanted to put them. Sort of close to it, make it look like you've got more. Uh, you could probably do that and get away with it. And then, of course, you get open. This is what you greeted with. So let's get out your accessories into the light box. See what you get. See what the figure looks like. <laughs> Yeah, guys, here's the accessories. Not a great deal, as you can see, so it's not going to take very long to get through these. What we have is the base, and again, as you can see, it still has on me because another one that I bought brand new with the metal front end, Star Wars Stormtrooper on it. You know, there's not much to say about these things. If you like your bases, then you've got a base for it. You know, you know what I mean? I tend not to want to use them. Again, crotch grabber which I just, uh, you know, they'll do a job if you need them to do the job, but I think a lot of times they just get in the way and if the uniform's not the right colour, so if it's not like a black uniform or a dark uniform, then you're pretty much going to see these things freaking poking out on them, you know, especially if it's a white uniform, like most of what is, is it's going to sort of stand out like a sore thumb if, it, if you don't get it positioned right, so I'm never keen on them, but, you know, they're going to do a job if you want to keep the ankles in good condition. And without them sort of going a bit funny yeah so there you go and that's what you've got with this one now i bought this one brand new again because it actually worked out cheaper can you believe this it worked out cheaper to buy one brand new than what it would have done to buy one second hand don't figure does it but that's exactly what i've done i ended up buying a brand new because it cost less than what it was costing for a second hand one again we're getting the pegs the extra wrist pegs we have this thing, which you can see attaches to his belt. Yeah, so that's cool that you get that. I don't know why it wasn't already attached to his belt. It's, you know, I mean, it just doesn't make much sense, but hey, there you go. And we have his blaster rifle, which is a shame you don't get a blaster pistol or anything. You only get the blaster rifle. Yeah, but it does look really cool and really well detailed and yes it does have the moving parts on here it will come out like that and it also will go down like so okay but i don't know who would be wanting to do something like that you know i think it just it looked just as good like that so that is pretty damn cool yeah pretty mad damn well, thingy -dingy. I wish they were metal, but they're not that plastic. And then you get just a few hands. Again, as per usual with Hot Toys, you're getting more hands for one side than the other, which just doesn't figure with me at all. You do have for either side. 
you have a hand for a gripping a gun whether you want to put it is his finger trigger finger because they both look pretty much the damn same they both have that look like they're a trigger finger but there so you could have them looking like they're holding the barrel as well if you wanted to you have two fisted hands and the one open palm hand like you see and stop yeah obviously it does come with two hands already attached which you will see in a moment because this is it when it comes to the accessories for it i did obviously get instructions but really there's not much i think you're going to need to do the instructions are good to, to look at in order to stop you from trying to take the poses too excessive because it normally tells you how far to take stuff you know with where you'll still keep within that safe zone so now let's have a look at the figure himself so here he is guys stone to himself this is how he comes these are the hands that he already had on this is how he looks now when you look at him from this distance you probably can't see some of the stuff that i can see especially obviously with his feet because i can't see his feet but you can see the weather damage look to him you know and i think that is pretty damn cool that they've got that on there that you can see the weather the weathered look to him you know like he's been out in the, the sandstorm or something like that and has that sort of bit of dirt to him which i'll show you in a, in a close-up Obviously, I got him brand new, so when I did get him, he had some sort of cover over his head, round his wrists, he had some plastic, he had some plastic inside of the belt, because this belt does actually move up and down on him. That's to give you a chance to, I think, to have a bit of articulation to him. Um, he had some around his ankles and everything else like that, in the usual places, you know, on his feet. And also, this bit you can see just back here, which you'll see in a minute, it's actually a gun holster there was a bit of plastic covering the gun holster so the gun holster wasn't against the back of the back of the uh, leg so you wouldn't get the black rub off on the back of the leg on that so that was pretty damn cool as well yeah this thing let's go into the articulation with them with you straight away so what you've got on the head is a neck motion which will actually give you the chance for it to get them to look sort of pretty much right down because the neck I don't know if you can see that the neck actually you can see it it's moving as well and beside the pegs so that is pretty good but the fact that the back here which you may not be able to see properly because of the light but the back here is like a piece of plastic again which i've got in the normal lot of things that i've said to you before and that does move but you're not really going to look at them from the back if you're having them looking down you know you're not going to look at them from the back so yeah you won't look up too far because the helmet at the back end stops it you know you can get sort of a very very slight you know, head tilt to it and obviously it will turn but when you turn it that's you know you're going to get that sort of unsightly look there which really how often are you going to really want to turn his head that far anyway you know you're pretty much going to have him looking forward and it just looks so cool i absolutely love the original ones in know even though they are basically like cannon fodder these things are good because the move and what you've got actually you, you can't see it properly yourself but inside here they're actually on a plastic uh, uh, elasticated strap so they'll actually move around to give you the chance to pose you know you can lift it up lift that up over the top that's about as far as you're going to get it to go it does have movement but I don't think it's actually so much in the actual bicep. I think it's in the shoulder itself because you do have the butterfly motion where you can actually bring the shoulders and hunch the shoulders right forward. But if you do that, you're going to leave a big gap at the back here, but the shoulders will go right back and also come right forward. But you're going to get that massive gap, which I suppose you can move these around to help. The arms do move as well. Again, you know, bottoms and tops of the actual armor moves in order to get the oh, lights coming off so what you've got is bicep you can take it up in order to have more motion you can actually turn that a little bit and then you get it slightly higher again yeah 
So depends on where you want it. You can move the actual things around to give it a bit more motion. You know, and try to sort of sort it out so you can bring those into line. The wrists, again, the wheel twist, and you will get inflection of just you can't see much of it here because the chances are it's set up to come forward again for some reason I don't know why but hot toys seem to have that thing you're doing it so they'll come forward but you can get flexion with them if you just twist the wrist peg around somewhat body wise even though it's a split you can get sort of a bit of backward motion on it though again you're gonna to have to watch for these catching each other and sort of basically damaging it also you know I would pretty much wouldn't try too much with that hip flexion wise you're gonna get not that much outward which again these weren't exactly sort of meant for being mobile so uh, you know they, they weren't sort of meant for being much jumping and thing and run bringing forward you're not gonna get a lot because the leg armor is stopping it back you get next to nothing as well because the leg on stops it actual knee joint you can see there isn't the greatest because the thing stops it it would have been a double bend if it wasn't for the fact that the armor again sort of stops it so you know it's what plays a pivotal role is how the armor goes you know feet wise they are pretty damn good you're gonna get a lot of flexion in either way because of the break but you can shove that down in order to disguise it you got a lot of flexion in any direction to a ball joint so that is damn good so what you need and you just basically maneuver that in such a way as it'll disguise it and then we'll get them to stand up and i'll take you into some close-ups on the different stuff it's just sure doesn't it better position there we go a little close up on the head sculpt and there's what i'm showing you that's what i was talking about if you look in here and around his eyes you can see the dirt and dust that's gathered in there now for you you can't see what i can see because this camera won't show it up because his eyes look pretty much like they're black but they're actually not that green the eyes are like a dark green yeah, which is a shame that you can't see them like I can but they're not black they're dark green guys and they look pretty damn good I think I see I'm really impressed yeah you come down you can see the weathering on the belt the belt looks really dirty and weathered yeah he's sure that there you can see a bit of weathering on the shoulders on the legs there you can see it or around the knees you see the weather in there and you look at his feet and you've got a lot of weather in there and I think it just looks really really wicked you know we turn him around a bit and let's show you see there's his holster which is like a sort of a leather look to it and that does lift up it's on a magnet so that part here will lift up and just magnetize back down you can put the gun into it but I mean for myself I'm gonna have a gun in his hand. Yeah. And of course you can see the two hands he's got which are basically built for holding the barrel more than anything else. But there you go guys. And I'm gonna put him in or put something in his hand, put his weapon in his hand and show you what he looks like that way on. And there you go, that's what he looks like. And he's holding his weapon. And don't get disgusting on us guys, please. I mean come on, come on. Let's let's see. We are else here. <laughs> there you go guys that's what he looks like what i'm going to do i think as i'll uh, maybe bring in darth vader show you a size comparison next to darth vader and maybe he's next to luke and see what we've got that way on so we can get like a, basically a, like an idea of the size of it so that gives you an idea guys of the size difference between darth vader and his stormtroopers now i remember in a movie where they actually said luke skywalker was a lot shorter than a normal Stormtroopers, I don't know what size normal Stormtroopers were supposed to be, if they were supposed to be running with the six footish. But I mean, you can see how big Darth Vader is next to him, yeah, so he must have been one hell of a presence. You yeah, know, and I knew wonder people were freaking frightened of him, with what he could do, and the fact that he was that tall. 
you know, it just looks great. It looks really great, you know, so that's pretty damn good, you know, pretty damn good. Now I've just got to again work out where and how I'm going to pose this one up, but I'm pretty damn happy with that, guys. I'm pretty damn happy. And now, literally, I think all I've got left now is to get a Yoda, a Princess Leia, and a Boba Fett. And Boba Fett and Princess Leia are the ones that's causing the most amount of difficulty for us right now because they're just way overpriced. You know, they are way overpriced. And that would have me, sort of, for me, the original set that I would like to have. I'll, I'll be quite happy to have those. And then going, right, that's it. My Star Wars collection is pretty much complete. You know, I'll be happy with those guys. Now, if by any chance I can pick up a cheap Mace Windu, and Count Dooku, then or possibly I would get those two as well because I did like those characters. Other than that, yeah, I'm going to be quite happy when I can pick up Boba Fett and Princess Leia because, like I say, I do have on order a Yoda, so I'm just waiting for them to be released and come to us. There you go, guys. So, please, like once again, if you've enjoyed this, please put a like on it. If you didn't, put a dislike, yeah, comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is the Bearded Nerdy Wolf. And I am out of here. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever say <laughs> okay, that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>